how is it that you're always happy? Hi guys, I'm Edison T. Crux, and I get that question a lot. Um, from wherever I'm going, around people I work with, around friends, family, you name it, I'm pretty consistently an upbeat, happy kind of guy. And people often do ask me, you know, how are you always happy? Are you seriously always this happy? Um, and the thing is, everyone has their good days that they're like that, right? Everyone has their days that they're just on top of the world. Everyone also has their days that they're just kind of really having a bad day. Everyone also has days, guess what, that are, most of the days actually, are just kind of somewhere in the middle. They're not bad, not great, just kind of whatever. But people seem to notice with me that I'm pretty consistently in a really good mood and really happy. So they ask me, uh, how? how? How are you always happy? It's creepy. It's weird. It's not normal. <laughs> and I respond with all kinds of different, different kinds of answers. Like, um, one I often do, and they ask me, how are you always so happy? And like, man, it's the coffee. I am so caffeinated right now. And that's, I mean, that's funny, and it has something to do with it. I'm usually pretty caffeinated, but that's not the real reason that I'm always as happy as I am. Um, I think some people think that I don't have challenges, or that my, you know, life must just be easy for me since I'm always in a good mood. And that's not at all the case either. I face many of the same challenges as most people, and uh, some even new ones that most people don't have to face, you know, trying to build businesses and, um, and writing. There's a lot of challenges that are a little bit more unique than I face. So it's not that I have an easy life exactly, that's not the reason for it either. And just recently, actually, a couple of days ago, one of my coworkers came up to me and said, okay, so serious question. How are you always so happy? So I said, okay, not at all serious answer. I said, you know, play with him. And I said, from years of practice. And we kind of laughed about it a bit. Um, but then I told him that's actually pretty much the case. People think that happiness is something that happens to you. And that is conditional based on what's going on around you. Um, but that's not really the case. When you think about it, what is happiness at its core, at its root? Happiness is a response. It's a response that you have to things that happen to you. Right? It's If you really want to get biological on it, it is a, or more neurological, I guess. If you want to get science somehow, it is a chemical reaction going on in your brain, releasing a certain, um, a certain set of hormones and neurotransmitters that convey a feeling of calmness and excitement and happiness. It's a chemical reaction that goes on in your brain which is an important part to keep in mind. It, it happens in you. Those neurotransmitters or hormones or whatever such thing that trigger what the feeling of happiness do not come from outside of you. Right? If someone gives you a check for a million dollars, right, you'd probably be pretty happy, right? I, I would. But the check, the physical check in your hands does not create happiness. The response that your brain creates in response to that check is what creates happiness. By seeing that and your brain knowing what that means in context of your life, you create the appropriate response of happiness. Someone else could have that same uh, event happen. In this case, say they got that a million dollar check where they would feel racked with guilt. They wouldn't feel happy about it. They'd feel responsible. They maybe feel maybe they have a negative opinion of money. Who knows? But the point is not everyone will react the same because the reaction is within you. The same thing is true of all instances of happiness, right? When 
good things happen around you, you create the response to happiness within you. And the same is true in reverse when then quote unquote bad things happen around you, you create your own response and you release a different chemical reaction that sends much different responses to your body. It has very real physical effects of stress and anxiety, which you really don't want. But all that happens inside of you. You control your response. It's not always easy, but you are the one who controls it. So when I say that happiness for me, you know, I am always happy all the time, or at least most of the time, I have my off days too. I'm human. I'm not, you know, perfectly happy all the time, but I'm just happy more consistently than a lot of people I know. I have a lot fewer bad days. Um, my average days are about as good as most people's good days. So it's kind of up the, up the average. But the reason that that is the case for me is because I've made a habit. Because I've made happiness a habit. I have trained myself literally trained my brain like a muscle to create the positive response to things more often than a negative response. I've trained it to get a positive, happy response more frequently, which means I get better at it. My mind actually gets better at creating a happy response. It is trained, just like you train a muscle. The same thing is true of your mind and of happiness. You can get, by being happier, does that mean anything around you changes? If you're still looking to outside circumstances to give you happiness, then you have completely given up control of something that's ultimately yours to control. You're looking to outside things to make an inside change, and that's not going to work. You're only going to be happy sometimes. When you realize that the responsibility is yours to create happiness, then your circumstances, the things going on around you, do not have the same influence on you. You still have to handle them. I'm not saying ignore problems around you, but your response to them can be different. You do not have to create a negative response to a situation um, presented to you. And that's important. That's a responsibility. It's not a one really want. But it's important to know that, because by accepting that responsibility that outside circumstances cannot create either happiness or unhappiness. They can create neither. Only you can. By accepting that responsibility that it only comes from you, that is the only way to truly be free. That's right. Respons paradoxically, responsibility is the only thing that will give you freedom. Because if you don't take the responsibility, of your own happiness and well-being, then you are living at the whim of the world around you. If you take that responsibility and you realize that for good or bad, you know, whether you have wonderful mood or terrible mood, you are the one at fault. It is not it, it is not controlled by the world around you. And that gives you freedom. Because then you can always choose to find a better way to be happy. It is not easy. I'm not going to tell you that it's easy. And it's not something that happens overnight. I've been doing this for years. I've been improving my mood and my attitude for years. And that's why my average is better. That's why my average is much more upbeat than a lot of people. But it does take practice. And it doesn't happen overnight. It starts with small steps. It starts with one simple instance where Maybe you're not feeling as great, and you ask yourself, can I find a more positive way to look at this? And if you can say yes, and just try that one time, start, work your way up, and it gets easier. It does. It just takes, takes time. It takes practice. Years of practice, like I said. When you ask, how are you happy all the time? Years of practice is literally the truth. I always try to be that person that... When I walk in a room, the general feeling and mood of the room around me goes up. The general sense of happiness and well-being of all of those in that room improves by me being there. My simple presence makes people happier. Because I know not everyone's where I'm at. I'm not even where I want to be. Um, 
people are still influenced by that environment. And by being a positive influence, by being someone who makes it easier to be in a good mood, then I can spread that, not just to me, but to those around me too. And not everyone does. Everyone, everyone, when you walk into a room, you are around people, you kind of let some of whatever energy or whatever emotions you've got carried inside of you, that comes out, man. And people feel it. People can feel whatever's going on inside you. Subconsciously, consciously, who knows, but they can tell. Um, and I don't want to be someone who is a drag to be around. I want to be someone who's an inspiration. Even if I'm not even saying or doing anything, just by my being there is an inspiration. Or at least is a positive influence, even if it's a small one. So that's what I aim for. And I've gotten pretty good at it with years of practice. So here is my task for you, right? Here is my little, little project for you here. I want you to take a moment and reflect and really think. When you walk into a room, when you go around a group of people, what influence do you have on them? What effect are you having on the people around you? Do you uplift them? Does your presence in a room make people happier? Does it elevate them? Does it make them feel big? Does it make them feel empowered? Does it make them feel happy and joyful? Or does your presence drag them down? Do you bring your own baggage and spread it to those around you, even on a subconscious level? Does your presence make people feel worse? Even if not worse, even if they still might like having you around, but when you walk in a room, do you drag people down? Do you create a happier environment or less of a happy environment? important to think about. So here's what I'd like you to do. Take a moment, really think about that, and then in the comments below, or wherever you're watching this, YouTube, um, usually share it on Facebook or on my blog, uh, edisonpcrumbles.com, wherever you're watching this, leave a comment. I would love to hear you from you, and I'd love to hear what impact you think your presence has on those around you, and your thoughts on, on happiness, and on making it happen. So go ahead, wherever you're at, um, even if it's the first time you've really given us any thought, leave a comment, start a dialogue, let's talk about it, because you know, we, everyone can improve if they want to. And this might just be a spark that might help you realize that it's something you want to improve. That's something that you would like to be that positive influence. So leave a comment, I will be looking forward to hearing from you, and let's keep things moving forward, huh?